Hey guys, welcome back to Baby Back Maniac. We are in Southern sunny California, actually smoky California right now. They got a few wildfires going on, but we are going to Disneyland today and I've got my family with me. Hey, say hi, Ethan. Say hi, Glad. And just keeping with the theme of the channel, we're gonna go check out the food at Disneyland and see what their barbecue is like. We got the ultimate Uber driver here with us. <laughs> Bliss Tuber driver. Tuber driver, that's right. He's the YouTuber Uber driver. <laughs> he grew up going to Disneyland with his family and uh, takes his family every year multiple times. So he's the ultimate tour guide. That's Greg from Ballistic Barbecue. And it's going to be a blast. Wave again, Greg, so they can see it. Hi, guys. <laughs> Bust out your wallet, Justin. Well, there's something you don't see every day. They're gonna find you. All right, so we just got off Space Mountain. Gladys, what did you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. That's pretty intense, wasn't it? Intense when it's darker. Yeah. What do you think, Greg? I dig it. Is this like your millionth time to do this? A zillion. Yeah. Zillion? <laughs> yeah. Greg's the only one who knew where to cheese it up for the camera. So Greg and I are sitting down. We're about to take a, a look at some of the food they have here at Galaxy's Edge. These are called Ronto wraps. Ronto wraps. Hey, this is really, really soft. I noticed that. And it's uh, some kind of sausage. Yeah, it's a pork sausage. And, I, and does this look like pork here too? It does. This is kind of sloppily thrown together, but it actually looks a lot better like in real life than sloth. you would think. Okay, so we got two of these, and then we've got, I remember this is turkey. It's called Nuna Turkey Jerky. Nuna Turkey Jerky. This one's spicy, and this one here is sweet. All right. Are you ready to do this? Ready. All right, let's give it a bite, see what happens here. You take yours. I don't know how this is gonna work. All right, so just to clarify, <laughs> I finished it, so clearly it wasn't bad. It was good, it was just, I don't know if it was, <laughs> and he finished his too. I don't know if it was 12.50 awesome, but it was it was great. I mean, it was good. It was good. Yeah. As far as the as far as the jerky, I think I think that's generally going to be a pass for me. I mean, I don't know that either of them were kind of worth. It's jerky. It's jerky, and it's turkey jerky. Uh, and I think honestly, it's oh, you can dehydrate jerky too much, and I think yeah. at least the, the sweet is a little overly dehydrated. Right, right. I think I think we'd pass on this. I'd probably do the wrap if I was here again. Um, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's certainly not terrible. And you know, it's fun to be here in Disneyland. Alright guys, so we just got off Star Tours. That is the coolest ride ever. Like, no lie. I can't show you any footage of it because photography is not allowed, but I'm so impressed. If you ever come here, check that out. It's amazing. Okay, so we're about to try this pineapple whip, which Greg says is awesome. It's basically soft serve ice cream mixed with pineapple juice, and I'm really excited about it. Wow. Greg says this is legit. It's legit. Is it? Is it just as legit as it always is? It's crazy. It gives me chills. Oh, well, it's so good. You're right. That's really good. Refreshing. This is better than the wraps we had earlier. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. Or the turkey jerky. <laughs> All right. So that was the pineapple whip. Two thumbs up. Well, that's one thumb. But pretend there's another one. Tell us about this place, Greg. The Golden Horseshoe. Basically, it's uh, it's a restaurant they serve like fried chicken and stuff. But there's also a stage there, and this is where Steve Martin got his start. The Steve Martin. The Steve Martin, wild and crazy guy, Steve Martin. So basically, he did it. He had an act, kind of a Western act. He played the banjo and just did his comedy routine. That is awesome. Yeah. Right here at Disneyland. So 
guys, I don't think I explained this earlier, but we are here for the Vid Summit Conference, which is this big how-to YouTube conference where they're bringing in a lot of cool speakers like Casey Neistat and Peter McKinnon and something Greg recommended. We're going to do that with a couple of the YouTubers. And uh, my wife said the only way she would let me go is if I take her with her. So <laughs> we're doing Disney today, but we've spent the first part of this week doing all kinds of fun California stuff. California is cool. They're a little weird about their drinking straws. But it's paper. Feels like you're sucking on an index card. But we saw some pretty cool stuff. Okay, Greg's gonna sing for y'all. Uh, what? Come on, Greg. Because you because can't get you to floss. Ethan, do it. Come on, Greg. Come on, Greg. No, this is the concern. I, I, my voice is so accurate. Accurate. Yeah. When it'll, it comes to singing songs, that you'll get dinged with a uh, with a copyright strike. Oh, I appreciate I don't you thinking. Do that to you. Appreciate it's you thinking. All about you, man. That is awesome. That is yes. how thoughtful. Isn't he thoughtful? So thoughtful. <laughs> Next up is the famous turkey leg from Disney. As you can see, there's no grease involved whatsoever. No. So these are these are smoked, right? Yes, they're cured, they're like ham cured and smoked. Ooh, it's gonna be good. It's very gelatinous, yeah. but it's also very, very, very tender and edible, the skin. It's just not rubbery at all. Really? At least when, the one that I had the last time I was here. So I'm wondering is that because of being like scambered for so long, wrapped up in foil? Maybe. Know? Huh. Let's give it a shot. Nah. <laughs> no, it's delicious. So good. <laughs> what do you think? It's really good. Very yeah. tender. Definitely taste the cure. I get some smoke. Yeah. Um, again, it has almost a very light pastrami flavor, to me at least. Yeah. I, I like it. Absolutely. I mean, you can tell it's cured because it's pink, right? That's what that means, isn't it? Yeah, this, I love this. This is really, really good. If, if all turkey tastes like this, I'm not a huge fan of turkey, but if all turkey tastes like this, I would eat it all the time. This is good. This is definitely two thumbs up. Or, there we go. Or three thumbs, three thumbs up. <laughs> What are you guys gonna eat? <laughs> All right, one more thing here. We've got four churros. Everybody, churros unite. Ethan, get in here. Night. Churros unite and bite. That's good. That's really good. I'm not like a legit churro expert, but man. It's a good churro. It's good. It's cinnamon, it's sugar, it's goodness. These, seriously, y'all, these churros are great. I give it two thumbs up and a couple of churros up. All right, three thumbs up. One more four, thumb, Ethan. One more thumb. Can't see it. Okay, there we go. Four thumbs up. So after we had the churros, we were about ready to leave, and we saw this kid sitting at this table that had these ribs, baby back ribs, and we can't find them, but we're on the search for these baby back ribs. We're going to try to catch them before we leave, so fingers crossed. All right, guys, we found the ribs at this restaurant called the River Bell Terrace right here. They're $27 a plate. So fingers crossed this is gonna be this is gonna be the best ribs we've ever had because it's gonna have Disney magic all over. <laughs> so we wanted to eat outside, but they didn't have any tables because they're about to start a show. And so we're feeling just a, a little bit awkward <laughs> here at our table for two. All right, so <laughs> that wasn't the best. No. <laughs> in fact, we, we left the restaurant in order to give this review. That's not why we left the restaurant. No, we did. <laughs> it was we, part of it. <laughs> we didn't want to stand in there and say, this food sucked. <laughs> yeah. So I'll start with the ribs. Okay. okay. So the ribs were like, they were really, really tender, like too tender. Like you could, you could, I ate it with a fork. Like they were braised. Right. They were, yeah, exactly. That's a good way to describe it. And I'll say this, I, I think, 
I mean, just being from Texas, those were not acceptable ribs. I also can see why if you're serving a lot of people, they wouldn't complain if they didn't know that there was a better way to do things. There's a sweet sauce, it's very, like I said, they're very tender. It was just, it was very much, I've never actually had pot roasty ribs, but that's definitely what that seemed like. So, yep. now, he ordered the brisket sandwich. <laughs> What do you got here? It's a brisket sandwich. It's got some, with cheese. Yeah, it's got smoked gouda on there and okay. some uh, like haystack onions. Uh, so the, it had a smoke ring, so it was smoked, sliced very, very thin, and I think you were probably keeping it in like a chafing dish with uh, like an au jus. Like, yeah. Because it, it had a very salty, bouillon kind of a flavor to it. Yeah. It, it didn't taste good at all. But, but then it was also bland. Yeah. And then they had smoked gouda cheese on it, which it didn't need. It was just, there was really nothing about it I liked. Yeah, it was just, it was wrong in about a thousand different ways. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. But I will say that a long time ago, just telling Justin, there used to be a pretty good barbecue place here in the park. Uh, in the frontier land and they were actually grilling beef ribs and chicken and everything on a big Santa Maria which I, I miss I mean it went away a long time ago but it was like sort of a chuck wagon kind of a theme theme place and, yeah. yeah that would have been cool yeah I wish they still had that but anyways guys this was fun thanks for coming along with us uh, you know there was some there were some winners and some losers. I think my favorite thing was the, I think it might have been the churro. That was really good. What was your favorite? Can't go wrong with the churro. Yeah, well, it's hard to mess that up, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, anyways, I'll get my shot here. Anyways, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being in my video. My pleasure. Y'all go check out Ballistic Barbecue, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Watching this box that fell off the back of one of these one of these trucks. It's it's right there. And we keep thinking one of these cars is gonna stop, but they never do. Here's the package right there. Oh. Do the right thing, bud. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Uh, okay, maybe that guy maybe that guy's gonna go. I think we got it. I think we got it. Ethan. No. This is what I think happens to everything I ship. Okay, never mind. Did he get it? He got it. Yep, he got it, he got it, he got it. Oh, I feel so much better. That was fun.